Hi there, in this video I am going to show you how you can make some tables. The first thing we're going to do is make a table in the modeler. The modeler is where you can create a really simple asset. So we open up our project in the modeler, we have our 3D workspace, our color palette, the modes and tools down the side, a top bar menu, uh, then a material here as well as layers. We're not going to look into layers, we're just going to make a super simple table. The best way I suggest you make a table is to turn on these mirroring axes. We want a mirror on the X and a mirror on the Z. And the height of the table wants to be roughly anywhere between 30 to maybe 40 in height we're going to do a 35 height table always testing game maker going to make the length 70. now depending on the type of table you're making yeah you know, this may vary on how long you want it to give an idea the uh, average avatar is two meters tall in the sandbox which is 64 voxels so I'm making this just slightly longer than what the average human is, the average avatar is. And the width is also good. What we're going to do is we're going to select our color. I'm just going to make a very simple brown table. Mode on create as well as the box tool I like to use. And to create the legs and we've got this mirror tool on we can actually see that it's created the legs equal on all sides the other thing i do like to do as well is get the top of the table made so i'll actually use the the face tool and click the top of the workspace which is why i like to get it at the height that i want it down like that use the face tool as well to increase the leg size of the table here we go. Now we have a very simple table. Turning the mirror tool off, we are just going to add a few little details. So I'm going to go over to paint mode and I'm going to use the pencil. I'm just choosing uh, a couple of shades darker than what my table is. And it depends on what you want to do in terms of texturing. There's lots of different options you can do, but once you are happy with your table in the modeler, you can go to file, upload to workspace and go through the process of uploading to your workspace and testing it in game. Now, this is a super simple version. What we can't do, however, if you wanted a table where you had plates and other uh, items on top of the table, we can do this. However, it would all have to be done within this same volume so that that will then have an issue with our collision box will be much higher so if the player is able to jump on top of the table they'll be stood in the middle of the air because it will the collision box doesn't wrap it goes from the tallest widest points so if we built a plant on here So our collision box would actually be on top of where this plant is. We also wouldn't be able to get any sort of uh, unique turns on the asset. It's just placed exactly where it is. However, we can make a table over in the animator and make it a little bit more of a co complex asset. That is what we're going to go over and do next. Go over to the animator, create new asset. So the animator isn't just for making animations. It can be a place where you can rig mult multiple models up to create, create a more complex asset. So what I have done is I have created a control node off of our world. It's always good practice to create a control node because this is the node that we can move if we need to reposition our asset. Our world node node is, is, isn't movable and this also will determine the center rotation for your asset. And then I've put in table coming as a child node coming off of the control node and the plant also being a child node coming off of the table because the plant sits on top of the table. What we're actually going to do is we're going to take that same table that we created in the modeler 
We're going to put it in the animator library for this asset. To do this, we go to the menu bar over in library, import VXM, find where you saved that table. I'm going to click and drag the, the table over to table. As you can see, we've got this large collision box. The white outline is our collisions. We're going to take this table, click on the icon in the library, and we're going to do control D, which is duplicate. And we're going to call this plant. Go into the one that says plant. We are then going to delete everything other than the plant. Make sure to click trim volume up here and it will tighten that collision box. We are also going to set our pivot point. So make sure to come down here, right click, set to floor. So our pivot point is set centered on the base of that model. What we are then going to do is we're going to go into our table to edit and we're going to remove the plant. Click trim, grab hold of your plant, move it over to the plant node, we then need to position where we want our plant. So let's move it up onto the table. And then what we can do here is we can actually add a nice little rotation if we wish. And then the, each of these will have their own collision. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.